Hello my friends, it's Aki here. In today's video, I want to quickly uh, unbox this $15 3D printing accessories kit. I want to show you what's inside, as well as the quality of these items, if they're good or not, worth your money. So without further ado, let's dive in. First up, we have a pair of uh, thin tweezers, I guess. This is great if you're trying to rip the support. Doesn't feel too, too special, but it definitely gets the job done. Uh, next up, we have a, I believe this is a wire cutter. So yeah, it's a pair of wire cutter. Um, looks cheaply made, but I think it's going to get a job done. Just in comparison, this is a $30 um, Gundam cutter that I got made in Japan and you can definitely tell the quality difference between the two pairs so but this comes in a included in the $15 kit so I'm not complaining next up uh, I think this is the glove but you for your finger yeah I definitely won't be wearing these then we have a nylon brush I can definitely see some sort of brush will come in handy especially when you're sanding your uh, prints because there are just a lot of fine particles that tend to stick on the print so it's great that we have a nylon brush here so I don't have to use a toothbrush and I believe there's another pair of brush but this one's made with um, metal instead I guess for the same purpose just different surfaces inside of this tube there's a bunch of very fine, um, flexible needle. Almost looks like, you know, the Chinese medicine thing where you stick it in your skin and I don't know that, have you seen them before? Yeah, like you stick it to the pressure point to release the pressure in your body. But I don't think that's what this is for. I think this is for when you have a clock nozzle, you can use this to stick it up and clean it. So, looks a little bit dangerous, so we're just going to keep it in the tube. Uh, next up, let's see what's in this box right here. Yeah, I still don't know what this is, so. The attachment. Oh, you know what? I think I know what this is. Okay, the way it works is you hold this back, it's, it's spring-loaded, you hold this back and slide the attachment in and let go, and this will get locked in place. So if you have like curved surfaces, you can use the sharp edge to shape it. Oh yeah. Oh, that's gonna come in handy if, if you're working with like complex shape and needs to remove the excess. So that's cool. And it comes with so many of them in case it breaks or anything. Cool. Uh, next up, we have a pair of tweezers. So this is the razor blade. It's made with uh, very thin metal. Uh, oh, it's actually pretty satisfying to push it. Uh, oh yeah, it's razor sharp. So you can use this to cut stuff. And once out, you can refill it with newer blades. So that's cool. Let's see what's in this yellow back here. It's the needle files. Okay, so... These are metal filers. You can use it to file um, smaller crack like these. Yeah, it's pretty handy. And it comes in different shapes too. And we have a, a bed scraper, I guess, that's made out of plastic. Nothing too, too special. I printed one out for myself. Um, and we have a second bed scraper. And this one is made with metal, with a plastic handle. Uh, the edge is not too sharp, it's actually pretty soft, soft to touch. But it allows you to scrape off the bed without damaging the bed plates. So, this is cool. I gotta find a way to hand the, hang these up, maybe on the printer. Um, next up, another pair of tweezers, but with a rounded tip. One more pair of tweezers with a angle at the end here, just for better handling. 
So you have a tiny drill bit and this, put this insert in here and secure it. Yep, it's not coming off. So I guess you hold it with the center of your palm and then you can just drill holes if needed instead of using a electrical one. So that's cool. I'm not sure. I don't know what I will be using this for yet, but it's good ha good to have it. I doubt these are like high, high quality. So it's probably going to break at some point. But yeah, I'm actually pretty surprised how much it came in a $15 3D printing accessories kit. And uh, it's definitely going to be helpful. Um, you know, with the spatula tool, this is always good when you need to rip off the support on the print. Yeah, I think overall it's great to have all these tools. They're not like the top tier quality, but hey, if it gets a job done, then uh, then it's a good tool, right? Uh, so if you are someone who care about the tools and the quality of tools, I would suggest invest in a uh, higher quality tools, uh, maybe buy them separately. Uh, for example, I got this one just for uh, making the Gundam model kit. So, and this one's super good quality, made in Japan, and it's gonna last me for a while, compared to a generic wire cutter. You can see the difference. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below, and I hope to see you in the future.